Hey guys, welcome back to K Job's Views. Um, we're going to get into another one of these views today, uh, reviews today, uh, a pretty complicated, longer review. So you're going to have to bear with me. Today we are going to cover Justice League, uh, the Snyder Cut, not the <laughs> one from 2017, the Snyder Cut Justice League. Uh, but before we get into it, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Share, share, tell someone to share some more about me. And um, we're going to get right into this. So, uh, Justice League Snyder Cut. Justice League stars Henry Cavill as Superman, Ben Affleck as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, a.k.a. Victor Stone, and Jason Momoa as Aquaman, also known as Arthur Curry. Now, Justice League picks up where Dawn of Justice left off, uh, which was also by Zack Snyder, um, which is the death of Superman. Now, uh, Dawn of Justice didn't get well-received. I think that's largely due to the fact that you have Ben Affleck playing Batman now, but that's my personal Ben Affleck not liking opinion. So, uh, Dawn of Justice left off with Lex Luthor, uh basically predicting that Superman's death... Well, so Lex Luthor had created this alien hybrid being that basically killed Superman. Um, and Lex Luthor predicted that the death of Superman was going to bring about uh, the end of the world or the destruction of the world. Leave our, leave our world vulnerable to lots of things. So Justice League um, basically picks up exactly where that left off, and uh, Superman's death has left the world vulnerable. These mother boxes that are in uh, three different kingdoms, one protect protected by the uh, Amazons, one protected um, in, in Themyscira, one protected by humanity, which was actually at um, Star Labs, not Star Labs. Um, I forget the labs where uh, the stones work. I, uh, anyways... Um, but it's, it's within a big science lab here. Um, and then the third one is protected by the Atlanteans, um, down under the sea. Uh, so, um, the first mother box basically cracks and it sends about, um, it sends about a, a signal to this alien to come in, tack, and, and this alien is um, Steppenwolf. So Steppenwolf comes and he has this huge, amazing action scene against the um, Amazons in Themyscira. Uh, and uh, I mean, eventually he does get the mother box, but it's, it's like a tough ass action scene. Um, immediately, and this is actually kind of a good time to point out that um, this is a huge advantage in watching the Zack Snyder cut. Um, the action is just turned up a thousand and twenty five percent. Um, so immediately you're just getting so much more than you got in 2017. Um, so, but he does. So the, the uh, Stephen Wolf does finally get the mother box. He then attacks humanity. Um, this is another huge action scene. Um, but they do a good job at hiding the box. Um, well, shout out to Victor Stone's father, I guess you would say, for hiding the box. Um, then he goes and uh, attacks the box, at, uh, tries to get the th box at the Atlanteans. Um, this is when Aquaman's forced to act because he was timid in joining the whole Justice League idea, which, uh, Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck was peddling. You'll excuse me if I don't follow the Ben Affleck storyline. Um, so... <laughs> He was reluctant to join the little Justice League thing. So um, he now is kind of forced to, obviously, because Steppenwolf goes and fucks up the Atlanteans. Um, and so they realize at this point, them being the the now, uh, I guess, sort of formed Justice League, almost formed Justice League, which is uh, Batman, Wonder Woman. Because, of course, Wonder Woman was in on it the whole time. She, she fucks with Ben Affleck. I don't know why. Um... And and Flash, uh, Bruce Ben got um, the Flash to join the team. Um, Victor Stone becomes involved, kind of through. Uh, no, he he becomes more involved through his father. So we'll, yeah, he comes involved because his father becomes involved. His father is the one who hid the mother box. 
the humanity's uh, protection of the mother box. Um, which, I, in the comics, I could have sworn was the father box, but I don't want to start getting stories confused. At some point, I'm probably going to try to do some videos on comic with Marvel and DC because I could have I could sworn that Victor is fused with the father box, not the mother box. Um, this movie does. This is a good time to point out that this movie does go good, and Zack Snyder does a good did good job at going into um comic lore and in, in this DC comic movie. But anyway, so um. Anyways, they, they realize after the, he attacks Atlanteans um, that the, the one of the mother boxes, the one Silas Stone has, which I think is a father box, was used to, to bring Victor Stone back to life. Uh, you know, the black guy, as I mentioned in the earlier video. And hopefully you guys watched the earlier video to this, because if not, you might be confused about the sh stuff I'm talking about. Um, but Victor Stone is, is a cyborg who the Snyder Cut is very much following because that was Snyder's vision for Justice League, which didn't happen in the first version of this movie. I digress. Watch the earlier video I made about this. Um, <laughs> then come all at me. But anyway, so um, they realized that uh, Victor Stone's reanimation, coming back to life after the accident with his mother, um was a mother a mother box did that so they're like well wait a minute can we bring back superman right so they're like let's try to use the mother box to reanimate superman at this point now i would highly suggest stopping the movie and taking your break or going to sleep and then starting the movie the next day it was a four-hour movie most people aren't going to want to watch this in one sitting. I didn't watch it in one sitting. I went to sleep um, pretty much right after this part. Um, and sometime the next day, I started it again and finished it. But, um, yeah. So, th that's when I would recommend stopping the movie. Now, if you're still watching um, and you didn't take a break, then buckle up because it's going to come at you pretty fast. So they reanimate Superman, but he is like all fucked up in the head um, and basically beats the dog shit out of everyone there. Um, it's sad. Uh, we do get to see this um, beautiful cyborg storyline start to develop more and more. Like I said, he's now become involved um, because they kept, they used him to bring back Superman. Um, and the Flash. Uh, so the, we also uh, get more of the Steppenwolf storyline during this dark Superman part. And he's wearing a dark Superman suit for the rest of the movie, which is really dope. Um, but anyway, so... Right, so 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 anyway, so the, so they have these kind of three storylines going on at this point of uh, the development of the movie, which which is good. That and, and that also is really what was needed in the 2017 movie. So um, they have the development of the 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 cyborg storyline. They have the development of the Superman kind of trope, uh, the dark Superman, Lois Lane kind of getting his humanity back, so to speak. Um, and they have the Steppenwolf thing going on. So Steppenwolf, we did find out, and this is when Snyder really gets into the comic lore, right? Steppenwolf, we really find out, is um, an agent of Darkseid. And Darkseid had found the anti-life equation on Earth. And Darkseid is basically your, your basic cosmic destroyer, right? He, he wants to destroy everything in the universe, because he wants to control everything in the universe, which I never understood for any of these evil people, but I digress. Um, so he he found this anti-life equation in the universe, which is like Thanos in his rings, right? Um, everything has a fucking parallel, and this is not just in comics. I reads, all right, we know, I know, anyways. Um, so, <laughs> so he finds the anti-life equation on Earth. This is millions of years ago, right? This is back when gods like Zeus and all of them were around, right? So Darkseid had found the anti-life equation on Earth. He really tried to take over Earth, but the gods, the Amazons, humanity, everybody, the Atlanteans, everybody like fought this nigga off and like boop, 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 they're all gone. 
So somehow Darkseid forgot about this, but I, whatever. I mean, it's been a million years. I guess it's possible, right? So he forgot where the anti-life equation was. And Steppenwolf, while he's here, is, is finds that the anti-life equation is here on Earth. So he contacts Darkseid like, yo, bruh, for real, for real, for real, for real. I know you hate me. By the way, Steppenwolf was doing all this just to get into Darkseid's good graces. He's like, I know you hate me, but I found the anti-life equation. Plus, this is another planet for you to like just take over. And please just take me back, take me back. You know, so um, Darkseid's like, yo, whoa, this is what up. And we also get to see more in comic lore. We get to see Decide and Granny Goodness, who I love. And if anyone who's watched Teen Titans, you guys should know who Granny Goodness is already. For I mean, that's all. This is all DC comic lore, right? So, anyways, you get to see uh, two other characters who are famous in DC comic lore, which is really cool for me and for other DC comic fans because it's like predictions of what can come next, right? So, um, Darkseid, Granny Goodness, Decide, and all of them are like, bet, put the three boxes together, and we we slide in over there. Um, at this point. Superman's kind of snapped back to reality and is down to help everyone. Um, him and the whole team save the day. Justice League, boom, 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 is established. Uh, and, 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 that's, and that's your Justice League, Zack Snyder cut. Then there's this long epilogue, which I hate because it focuses on Ben Affleck. You, um, I don't know why I hate you so much, but I, I just thought, I actually don't even hate you as a person. I don't, I don't, anyways. That could be a whole nother video. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, we, we get to see, uh, we get to see a lot of the comic tropes in this movie, uh, Flash and the Speed, the Speed Verse, the Speed Force, Speed Force, Speed Force, uh, Flash and the Speed Force, um, we get to see, uh, the Slade being hired by Lex Luthor joining for forces, um, which we know starts a whole dark team. Um, we get to see John the Martian Manhunter, who was also around the entire time and got not never got involved. Whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it it was a it was a it was it was great. Um, it didn't make the Victor Stone cyborg thing sound like a fucking broken family. It made it sound oh, gray hairs. Um, it made it sound, uh, like a, no I mean, he was from two respected, educated black people, you know, um, but, you know, Snyder, Snyder gave us justice. Snyder gave the DC universe justice with this movie. This was a very great movie. I enjoyed it very much. Um, if you are not a DC fan, you will more than likely continue to shit on this movie, um, because you guys don't like DC universe and that's fine. Um, we don't treat Marvel like that. Um, uh, Marvel to me, I'm fine with Marvel. I just think it's very, I mean, it is owned by Disney, but I can't think of any other word for it. It's just very nice. It's very beautiful. It's very flowery. Um, and that's not the world to me. So I don't really care for that version of it. Um, but DC to me is more real. But then again, you have, you have your beautiful days, you have your dark days. So, um, it is what it is. I love this movie. This movie had, uh, the action was just so much more well-developed. The uh, DC folklore was so much more involved in this. Um, it was a darker movie, but it's not like Game of Thrones dark where you're wondering if your picture screen is no longer working, right? You're, it's, you can see everything. Um, and, and it was just, it was well-developed in, in, in the individual character storylines. So Aquaman, The Flash, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, uh, well, Wonder Woman we didn't really need, and, and it wasn't a part of, and the, which was good. It didn't give us anything really with Wonder Woman, Batman, or Superman, not that much, um, which was fine because we didn't need it. Um, so it, it gave us what we needed to see about the new characters. It developed the Cyborg storyline a lot better. The story made complete sense. As you just heard me tell you, I just covered the whole story. The story made complete sense. Um, as we know, the 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 first version of this movie did not. Um, I didn't care for the epilogue, but I I don't care for Ben Affleck, so um, it is what it is. And anyway, so that is your review of Justice League, near and dear to my heart. Um, hopefully near and dear to yours one day. 
And in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share, 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 tell someone to share some more. And I will talk to you guys on the next flick.